WHO wants to give COVID-19 to healthy people to hasten vaccine trials? The WHO is discussing the chances of trials involving healthy young volunteers. Unlike other clinical trials, the wants and talks will deliberately expose people to the coronavirus. The main goal is to speed up vaccine development. These challenge trials can play a significant role in vaccine research for many reasons. First, exposure to the coronavirus may yield results linked to real-world factors. Standard trials can produce vaccines but without real-world factors, investigators can only provide efficacy rates. Second, vaccine researchers may have better access to effectiveness rates. These rates the true effectiveness of experimental drugs in real life. The higher the effectiveness is, the better it does in real-world conditions. And third, deliberate exposure may clarify risk factors. Right now, risk factors of severe COVID-19 are based on clinical observations from patients. According to The Guardian, some experts have reservations about the idea pitched by the WHO. Since there is no cure for COVID-19, deliberate exposure may cause potential harm to patients. Though, there are treatments now that can improve symptoms and lower the odds of complications. The argument bounces in the viability of those trials and minimal risk among healthy young people. Not to mention, the results will greatly benefit society. Joshua Morrison, executive director of One Day Sooner, said, If the argument is we're just giving advice into what the study should look like, we think research participants should be a part of that. One Day Sooner is a non-profit organization supporting Human Challenge Study volunteers. While the group asked to attend the discussions, they were turned away. The WHO reasoned that the current meeting is focusing on technical consultations with scientists, which is closed to the public. But upcoming meetings could include public participation. In the ethics criteria by the WHO, the organization recognized the importance of deliberate exposure to pathogens in controlled studies. There are technical advantages that may boost clinical findings, a lot faster than what we've accomplished so far. One advantage is fewer participants are needed. They can provide sufficient data on how the virus infects, how it affects organs, and how it interacts with medications. They can also compare data from challenge trials to clinical trials of experimental vaccines. The quite disturbing proposal is a possible booster for other experimental vaccines in the works. The products from AstraZeneca, Moderna, Pfizer, Gamalea, and others are just the first generation. More vaccines will be required to effectively defeat COVID-19. Thank you.